So let's continue solving examples using convex mirrors. Let's suppose that an object with a height of 9 centimeters is placed in front of a convex mirror as shown in the following diagram. So we have our convex mirror and we place the following object given by the symbol O in front of our mirror. Now if the object lies 30 centimeters to the left of our meter, so the distance from the center of the convex mirror to where our object lies is given to be 30 centimeters, find the image distance, so the distance from the center of the mirror to where the image lies, B, the focal length, and C, the radius of curvature. So let's begin by looking at part A. So to calculate the image distance, we essentially have to use the magnification equation. So we have to use the following proportion. So recall that the lateral magnification M is equal to HI, the image height, divided by HO, the object height. And that is equal to the negative of the image distance DI divided by the object distance DO. So we can essentially rearrange the following equation, bring the known values to one side and the unknown value, the value we're looking for, to the other side. So in part A, we're looking for the image distance. So essentially, we want to leave this quantity on this side and bring everything else to the other side. So the image distance di is equal to negative of the product of hi and do, and we divide that product by ho. So we know that the image height is given to be 7 centimeters. So we plug in 7 centimeters in for HI. Now we know DO is equal to 30 centimeters. So the distance from the center of our mirror to our object is 30 centimeters. And we divide that by the object's height, which is given to be 9 centimeters. So. 30 divided by 9 multiplied by 7 gives us approximately negative 23.3 centimeters. So the negative value simply means that our image is found to the right of our convex mirror. So behind the following convex mirror. So that is shown by the following red arrow. Let's say this is given by I. So this is the image and this is our eye object. Now, let's move on to part B. Now we want to use the mirror equation to calculate the focal length. So recall that the mirror equation for convex mirror is given by the following formula. 1 divided by the focal length is equal to 1 divided by the image distance plus 1 divided by the object distance. So since we're solving for the focal length, we leave the equation as it is. So we know what the image distance is that was calculated in part A to be negative 23.3 centimeters. We know the object distance is 30 centimeters. So 1 divided by negative 23.3 centimeters plus 1 divided by 30 centimeters gives us about negative 0.0096 centimeters raised to the negative 1. Now, so we have 1 divided by the focal length is equal to this quantity. So let's multiply both sides by the focal length f and let's divide both sides by negative 0.0096. And we get the following result. So the focal length is equal to 1 divided by negative 0.0096 centimeters and that gives us about negative 104 centimeters. So this is our focal, focal length. It's the distance from the center of our mirror to this point. Now let's move on to part C. 
What exactly is the radius of curvature? Well, to find the radius of curvature, we have to use the focal length. By the way, this negative sign in front of our focal length simply means that the focal length is found to the right of our convex mirror behind the convex mirror. So, in part C, we want to use this, this value. So, recall that the focal length for concave and convex mirrors is equal to R divided by 2, where R is our radius of curvature. So, if we solve for R, we see that R, the radius of curvature, is equal to 2 multiplied by the focal length. And since the focal length was found to be negative 104 centimeters, we multiply that by 2 and we get negative 208 centimeters or equivalently 2.08 meters. So this is our radius of curvature. Notice it's also found to the right of our convex mirror and that's exactly what we mean by the negative sign.